The Intermediate Value Theorem If a function is a polynomial function with only real coefficients, and if for real numbers a and b, the values of f of a and f of b are opposite in sign, then there exists at least one zero between a and b. In this example, we're asked to determine whether or not this polynomial has one zero between three and four. So the intermediate value theorem is a method that you can be used to locate an interval that contains a zero. So we want to know if the interval between three and four, if we were to look at that on a number line, it would look like so. And what we're asking is, is there a zero between uh, three and four? Well, we can find the answer to that by either evaluating the function uh, using the plug-in method, or we can use synthetic division. I'm going to do both to let you see what they look like. We'll start with evaluating first. Uh, so what that means, um, you're going to take one of your values, and I'm going to take three first. We're going to remove all the x's from the original function and replace it with a 3 and do the math. So I'm going to go ahead and do the math here to save time. I'm going to click through it. And we have an output of negative 21. So now I need to go ahead and plug in the other value of 4. And all I'm looking for is that my output is a positive number because my first output was a negative. In order for it to show that there's a zero, between, at least one zero between there, they have to be opposite in signs, your outputs. And now we're going to plug in the four, remove all the x's, replace it with a four, and we're going to go ahead and do the math. And here we have an output of negative 10. So we got an output for the first one of negative 21, and now we have negative 10. Uh, they're not opposite in sign, so that means that the intermediate value theorem does not prove that this function has a zero between 3 and 4. Here's the graph of that function. As you can see here, there is no zero uh, between those values of 3 and 4.